So we're gonna continue cleaning the barn today. Ashley's got a little yard work to do outside and we're just gonna see what we can get done. So right next to our garage here, we have this strip of dirt and it's growing weeds and stuff. So we wanna dig this down and put mulch in there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. How far down should I go? While Ashley's working on that, I'm gonna start stripping down these doors and just taking the hinges and hardware off them so that they're just slabs. That looks really good. Ashley, clean that out. Got that red mulch in there. We decided to do red mulch just because it was fun. Looks good against the blue. And I uh, painted a rock blue too when I was doing the barn, so. We have a special <gasps> surprise that we want to share today. We got a gift from one of our viewers that is literally life-changing. That might be an exaggeration. Let me tell you the story. So it might not be life-changing, but it is a big change for us because for the last long, long time, well over a decade, I've been using my tools on the ground, using my table saw, my chop saw, everything else on the ground. And every time we do a video where I'm cutting on my table saw, we get a lot of comments saying, build a workbench, get off the ground, it's not healthy for you. I don't think it's bad. I think it's good to be flexible, to get down, to stand up, to move around. That's really good for your body. I don't mind working on the ground, but sometimes it is an inconvenience. So one of our subscribers reached out to us through PayPal and sent a gift, and they told us to buy one of these, this one specifically. So I did, I went ahead and ordered it, and it just came. So I wanna put it together and show you guys. This is a stand for my table saw, it's gonna be so cool. So let's put it together, I'll show it, and we'll see how it works. Oh. I think I got it all together. If I did it right, I should be able to get my saw in here. Now I just gotta figure out how to mount the saw in here. But it is coming along. Looks pretty cool so far.
Well, there it is. We got it together. We got the saw mounted. Everything's perfect. It's actually really cool. So all I had to do was pull the feet off the table saw, bolt it onto these, and the rest of the assembly was pretty easy too. So again, we really appreciate the gift. Thank you so much. This is actually like gonna make a big difference for us and it came at the perfect time because we're trying to get the barn organized and fin finished once and for all. Yeah. So this is like the perfect solution. Um, well, perfect solution for the table saw to get this off the floor. It's always sitting on the floor because it's such a hassle. And we never have a spot to put it. Yeah. And a lot of you guys have been wanting me to build a workbench to get off the ground. This gets me off the ground and I actually like this a little better than a workbench. Because you can move this where you want it. So we just wanted to show off the new stand and say thank you for the gift. It means a lot to us. Yeah, thanks. that mostly all right we're making a lot more progress today now that all the nitpicky stuff is done and the room is pretty clean I think we're gonna take down the fan and just start cleaning up the junk the little things take the insulation out of the peak yeah well, that's how they Take off these boards here. I don't know why they're here. They're probably there just to keep the wall solid. But I don't want them here for now. Anything that doesn't need to be here can go. We just said we take this door off. So speaking of doors, this also is a door. It's a sliding, you know, sliding door. And it's pretty dirty, but I think it's all there. It's functional. It looks fine. I might keep it uh, for a little while. I think I might be able to use it in this room. So let's see. So Ashley is pulling nails. There's a ton of little nails sticking out of the studs. We want to get the walls as clean as we can. 
Uh, I'm getting ready to sweep, just getting rid of that insulation and stuff. The dust is really irritating. So, uh, start with the walls, they're filthy. We'll brush those down. And then the floor. So there it is guys, we finally accomplished the goal of at least getting this room clean. And now you can really get a feel of the room. We measured it out and it turns out that it's actually about 15 by 18 feet. So 15 feet this way, 18 feet long. And really a nice space. It could be used as a garage. You can see with the door. Uh, it could be used as a workshop. It could be used as a playroom. I'm debating, but I have some plans. So I guess the next stage of this project is just planning, making sure I know what I want to do with the space and how to tackle it. Uh, obviously we're going to have to run electric in here and all that, but I don't want to do it until I know how this space is being used so I can do it properly. I was considering insulating it so it could be heated. It's still a, an idea. I'm just not sure I, I want to put that kind of money into it. I don't know if it's ever going to need to be heated, if we're going to need to come out here. Uh, you know, we're going to look at it. We're going to look at all the options price some stuff out, see what it's gonna cost, and we'll come back at it. But yeah, this is actually a big step forward right now, so I'm happy with the progress. So I guess we're gonna end it here. I appreciate you guys coming along again with us, and I wanted to say thank you again for the gift of the table saw stand, that was really cool. It really is gonna help us keep the garage cleaner and just be easier to work. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Not to single anybody out, we really appreciate all the gifts that we receive from you guys, all the support. Uh, it's always great. We try to really use the gifts wisely and if somebody suggests something, like buy that, that's what we do. We try to use the money how you guys would like it to be used. So thanks again, we'll be back soon with another video and until next time, take care. Bye.